Okay, we are currently on our way to Bebu. We are in Kyushu in the south of Japan, in the, uh, one of the more southern islands. And it is absolutely gorgeous outside. <laughs> Dude, we made it to Bebu. Yeah, Sick! It's probably really clean, bro. Wanna go try it? Where's the castle? Wait, wait, I think we need to go on the other side. Bebu quickly became one of my favorite places in Japan, and actually rivals Tokyo for me as my favorite city. I remember reading about Bebu and seeing photos years ago, and I knew on my first trip to Japan I had to stop here. Is this like sashimi sushi? Holy shit, it's barbecue vending machines. <laughs> That's wild. That is so crazy. That's wild. It's got oh my god. I don't I don't know if that'd be great or awful. Yeah. That's so great. One thing I highly recommend when you're in Bebu is to stay at a traditional ryokan, and if it has an onsen as well, even better, especially for those with tattoos like myself, you can't go into public baths, so if you have a private bath, you don't have to worry about that. Alright Ty. Welcome to MTV Cribs. This is our group in Bebu. What's that? That's it? Not, nothing uh, else? So th this is our beds, right here. Yeah. You're looking at them. Uh, this is our dining room, very great. So if you come over here, get some this, futons. This is where we keep all our beds. Um, the sheets won't be clean for long. Uh, and here's some amenities. Pretty cool. Very cool. nice. Very nice. This corner over here, this is where the magic happens. This is that corner. Oh, it's a whole set. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, you guys got the better view. Jeez. While exploring Beppu at night, we actually came across the Yayoi Tengu Shrine, which has become a relatively popular tourist attraction in the area. We actually made some friends there too, and they wanted their photo taken, so we were happy to oblige. I don't think we did a bad job setting up futons for the first time. There are some hot springs in Bapu that you really shouldn't go into. These are the seven hells of Bapu, and they are scaldingly hot, and they have different mineral contents which produce their stunning and unique colors. They also, just a few of them, smell really bad, so just heads up there. It is really gorgeous here. Like, ah, the rain didn't stop us. We're good. We made it. This smells like eggs. Yeah. <laughs> this is literally strange. Oh, we got here. 
Cheers. Well, cheers. 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 Cheers to you guys. Oh, they went in already. They said bye. Mm, that's actually really good. You can taste the sulfur. Mm. Not gonna lie. What does sulfur taste like? That is delicious. Well. It's so rich. <laughs> mm. I spilled the egg everywhere. It's kind of like a weird sweet smell, too. You guys notice that? Yeah. Them stamps. stamps. Wait, did we got two here? Oh, there's another two. one there. Or maybe that might be a stamp block. Oh, there's, wait, are these two different ones? Yeah. Not the same. Dad, recording. Yes. <laughs> Look at the pro go. Ready? I'm gonna have Pano back. Ooh, nice. It's okay. I don't know how to stop it. Raccoon. <laughs> I know. I can't believe there's an actual gator here. A crocodile? Crocodile. Oh my god.